Well, Ms. Moo, as always, a well thought out and good video. Um, I've always liked your presentation. Not that you'll persuade me to your way of religious thinking, but I love your presentation. Now you put a little challenge out there for us theists. No, I'm not a Christian. I'm pagan. <coughs> you asked why there's so many galaxies and whatnot, and how we can reconcile this. Uh, I'll have to reconcile the Christian point of view, and their, in some cases, insane desire to prove that theirs is the one true faith. <coughs> and some people in that are quite insane, just as some Muslims are, but not all of them. Just it's, as there are some good atheists, but there are just some insane ones who say ours is the one true path. So, neither here nor there. You ask why there's all these, per se, different galaxies and whatnot. Now, I think it comes down to why we were, we were created. It's my opinion, no, I cannot prove this, and this is my belief, that God came into being and said, poof, it's lonely at the top, and while I can do a whole lot of things, I can't make others just like me. You even see that with Roman mythology, Zeus and the other gods and what have you. I mean, creating Athena full form from his mind, pink, but she's not wasn't quite the same. She was lesser than him. <coughs> but the creator said, it's only at the top. How do I get more like me? Which explains my belief in reincarnation. The idea being for us to evolve. And if evolution in, st starts there. It, we evolve into the species we are now. And we're to evolve spiritually as we go. That's just my view. I mean, <coughs> you, you know, it's like, it's, again, this is an opinion. I can't base it in fact, but it's just a thought that popped into my head. People go back to the Big Bang. Well, where did the Big Bang come from? And I look at black holes, and black holes disappear, it seems. <laughs> All that mass and energy didn't go nowhere. I guess another galaxy was created or possibly another universe. It could be our present universe is a result of several black holes filling up at once and going poof and creating another universe. I can't prove it, but it's a nice thought. Black holes get full and mass doesn't just go away. It's converted and shifted. Who knows? I certainly don't. And I don't mind admitting my ignorance. But keep up your good vids. I always enjoy watching you. I watch I watch everybody else so I can watch you on my subscriptions last because you're worth the full attention just listening to everything you say. So have an adequate day.